Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Push Square, and after a delivery mix-up, we finally got our PS4 Pro, so a little belatedly, I figured that I'd do an unboxing video, and here you're seeing the packaging. On the back is a big ad for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, but it also includes images of Uncharted 4, The Last Guardian, and Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, so yeah, not that interesting the packaging really, but it's the insides that we care about, and I'm just going to speed up this little section of the unboxing because no one wants to see me wrestle with a piece of cardboard. Um, there is a box inside the box and that's what you're seeing here. This white box has some additional information about the product on it. Um, it's not very interesting but like I say it's the insides that we care about so we're just gonna open the flap on the top um, to get to the goods inside. Now I'm sorry the camera positioning isn't great for this unboxing. You get one attempt at these unboxing videos so they're high pressure content and I'm sure that you'll use the dislike button liberally um, if you don't like the position that I've set this camera up in but whatever that's the way it goes sometimes. So the first thing that comes out is a quick start guide um, and then you also got like warranty information and electrical details and all that gump that no one actually ever bothers reading um, but it's all in there anyway so that's nice to know and then inside the white box there are two compartments there's the big compartment for the console itself and just to the right of the picture there you can see the other compartment and this includes like all the cables and the DualShock 4 and stuff so um, let's see what comes out first yep the first thing that comes out is a USB um, charging cable for the DualShock 4 um, an essential component some might say and then you also get the power cable just a usual UK plug now this has like a really chunky um, part that plugs into the PS4 Pro itself like it's a really high voltage console I think um, so that's worth keeping in mind it's not the same plug as was used on the original PS4 or the PS4 Slim you also get an HDMI cable again you know essential for hooking up to your TV um, and I believe this HDMI cable that you get can do um, you know the 4K and, and the HDR lighting and all that stuff. Um, the DualShock 4 is the new DualShock 4 which has the LED strip on the front um, and it can also send data through USB so you get like ultra low lag um, uh, gameplay from that. And then there's the console itself. Now the console is pretty chunky, it's pretty, it's pretty big and it weighs a ton actually. Um, it's not as big as like the Xbox One or anything like that, but it is still a, a nice meaty piece of hardware. Um, and in like the wrapper around the console, Sony's included a couple of little pamphlets. The first one is advertising their new 4K television, um, which is a bit cheeky. And the other one is like a little piece of information on Horizon Zero Dawn, which has some really nice artwork on it. So we're just going to put that in shot um, and show it off. But yeah, it's the console itself that obviously everyone's most interested in. You can see just through the wrapper there, that this actually has a silver PlayStation logo on the front, whereas um, the PS4 Slim is just a black one. And I think that gives it a really premium look. You can see it reflecting in the light there looks really nice it's obviously a triple layer console as opposed to a dual layer console so it's more like a big mac now um, which i actually quite like um, there's two usb ports on the front as well as the disk drive and um, it's also got mechanical buttons as opposed to touch sensitive ones which is nice it's got the same playstation symbol feet on the bottom and around the back you've got all the ports now there's a usb port on the back now which is great for playstation vr and that's it really cool looking console i think thanks for watching